we made it to Atlantic City. Welcome back to travel vlog part two. So if you missed the first part, we did our first few days in DC. We drove down and did a full on like seven, eight hour road trip. I don't know how many hours it took. I can't even remember. And we did a lot of fun like historical tours and sightseeing in that vlog. And now on the way home, we stopped in Atlantic City and we're gonna spend um, two nights here. So it's like nighttime now. It's about to be dinner time. We're gonna spend the day here tomorrow and then go home the next day. It was kind of like just a fun little stop on the way home, just because we've never been here before. It was a little funny <laughs> because you guys, when I told you guys in the vlog, like so many of the comments were like, don't bother, don't go. It's not a vibe dangerous at night it was on the way home it was really affordable we're staying at the ocean it was like 99 dollars a night and it's like a five-star hotel it said it's not totally giving that vibe and i'm just being totally honest here i'm not giving snobbery i'm just being honest it's not giving five stars like it's a little like we just got to our room it's a little dingy <laughs> We'll see how this goes. It's just, th this is gonna be a fun little vlog. This is gonna be a fun little vlog. Here's what the room looks like. It is a nice room overall. It the bathroom is really pretty. A lot of it's like just kind of scuffed up. Like I think, it's, I think it's like a pretty new hotel, but like when I look at the details, it's kind of like a lot of it looks kind of like dirty or dingy or scratched, but overall it is like a nice size room. It has a nice size bed, a couple of chairs, a big desk area, which is great. I personally am excited just cause like I love Vegas. I know this is not Vegas, but it's like an East Coast mini Vegas. <laughs> and then we can drive home in a couple hours, uh, you know, when we're done, which is nice. So I'm excited mostly just to like hang at the resort, um, get some pool time tomorrow, maybe walk the boardwalk during the day after y'all told me not to walk it at night um, and just like chill at the resort, you know, since we're just gonna be here for the one full day tomorrow. Tonight, we're honestly like really tired because today has been so hectic. This morning we toured the White House and we spent some time in the African American Museum and then we just drove <laughs> like four hours here and stopped midway and ate. We had lunch in the Tesla, which was great. We watched a show on Netflix. We watched Lincoln Lawyer and ate in the car, which was awesome. Charged the car. Uh, honestly, doing a road trip in the Tesla, I was kind of nervous, but it's been really smooth and actually really enjoyable because it kind of forces you to like stretch your legs while the car charges and just like enjoy your trip a little bit more. Like not so like rushing on the stops. It's kind of just like chill vibes, which is nice, but we're pretty pooped, so. We were looking at some food options just for like having a chill night um, and then, you know, hitting it tomorrow. There's like a pizza spot that has like a takeout pizza situation um, since we don't really want to sit down. I don't know. I think there's like maybe a food court kind of vibe. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where the night takes us. All right, you guys. 777. Does this mean we should go gamble? <laughs> no. Wow. Yes. <laughs> All right. We are going to go grab some food and just kind of see what the situation is. Cafe Chino, looks like there's a little bar, little aquarium moment here. I will say the hotel itself is very nice. Like beautiful, clean, you know, it's nice. It's really pretty. And this one is on the ocean, which is cool. There's like a lot of sitting areas out along the ocean. But it's a heat wave. I do think it's kind of funny that our vacation fell during like a record setting heat wave. Yeah, it's a heat wave and they have the fire pit going. Some people have on long pants, I'm impressed. Look how pretty. It is actually really nice. Oh, spa. Okay, we're gonna go down. I think I grabbed a map because I'm an old lady. Oh, casino. There's a sign over there for the cabanas. I'm so bummed because they're closed for the season, but there is one pool left, which we're gonna check out tomorrow. Here's a little map again.
Okay, you guys, we have been perusing, checking everything out. Unfortunately, a lot of stuff is closed Tuesday and Wednesday, and those are the two nights we're here. But that's okay. The pizza was delish. We've just been like walking around getting the lay of the land. We did find Top Golf, so I think we're gonna do that for dinner tomorrow so we can like play Top Golf, eat some food. And then we found a spot we're gonna have breakfast. It's like a Hawaiian breakfast and lunch spot called Mai Kai. Um, I might be saying that wrong. And then we're looking out at the boardwalk here. It's dark, so you can't really see it, but you guys will see it um, in the morning. So after breakfast, we'll take a nice walk, check out the boardwalk and what's going on outside of the resort. Many hours later. Yarman and I are laying in bed and the people next to us are blaring music. It's 11 o'clock. I'm so tired. <laughs> we have the fan on as high as it'll go. It's a weird night. Weird day, weird night. Good morning. It is our full day in Atlantic City. Last night was a little bit of a doozy. <laughs> the music went on for a while. And then after the music shut off, we were kind of drifting off and then we think they were like fighting because there was yelling, I don't know. Um, but we're up, we're a little tired, but we're gonna make the most of our day. We're gonna go have breakfast in the hotel and then get outside and check out the boardwalk. Okay, so there is a 30 minute wait, but there's a Starbucks next door. So I'm gonna get caffeinated. Starbucks on the floor right as we were coming when our table was ready <laughs> we both got omelets and they're actually really good breakfast was yummy now we're gonna walk down to the boardwalk do you want to get sunglasses I had an extra pair of sunglasses in my purse Yara's vibing <laughs> Here is closed. <laughs> so we're walking around the hard rock just to check it out. Okay, so we just went to check out the pool since the, the pier was closed. Um, the pool is packed. So, okay. Today's a little bit of a bust. Oh, you need your room key, babe. All right, I'm gonna be very honest. We're out. <laughs> we were gonna leave tomorrow morning. Everything we wanted to do today was just kind of a flop. <laughs> we're both so ready to just go home. The boardwalk uh. was, <laughs> he said bye. The boardwalk was not a vibe. It is so hot. The pool was slammed, like not a drop of space. And I miss my dog, we miss our baby. <laughs> so. We were supposed to pick him up tomorrow night on the way home and we just called and we're gonna pick him up tonight on the way home and I'm just excited. Um, we're just ready to go home. This was just, I don't know, it wasn't, you guys kind of warned us, <laughs> it just wasn't a vibe. Um, so, and we're not gamblers. We just wanted to like hit here on the way home, see what it was about. We're just kind of cleaning up the room a little bit. So let's go get the baby, but first, we got a four hour road trip home. On a bright note guys, they only charged us for the one night and not the two we were gonna do. So, pretty good. Let's go get the guana. I miss Bruno so much. All right, fun little segment on our road trip home. I'm gonna try a Starbucks drink that is supposed to taste similar to the fall drink. Um, I saw one of my favorite girls do it on TikTok. She has like a dupe fitness page. So it has like half the calories. We'll see if it's good or not. Um, this, I'll put a screenshot of her and her, the flavor right here. The so. uh, fitness page is not a dupe. Right? No, 
but she Second does thing. she does oh, she has a dupe a, fitness fit like dupe stuff yeah she does of dupes of like okay. fast food stuff with like a lower calorie higher protein content which is like super cool and right up my alley of stuff i like to try so my hopes are she said it was really good i don't know if it's gonna taste the same it's probably good enough good enough right let's yeah. see all right. right moment of truth this is what it looked like on hers i'm nervous <laughs> this does not taste like it at all <laughs> it's not like horrible but it doesn't taste like a pu the ice pumpkin chai i like it Good, you're gonna be drinking it. No, no, I have, I have coffee. I have you have coffee. two coffees now. I have hot coffee. You have two coffees. <laughs> I have hot coffee and it's like 96 degrees outside. Well, now you can drink this ice. I think it makes sense. And I think I'm getting my period. Like, today just sucks. Like, I wanna cry. I just, like, I'm so sorry to complain. And, like, it's hard because I hate even, like, vlogging this because I'm afraid people are just gonna be like, ew, whiny, whiny. But, like, I'm just like, today's just not good. <laughs> I just want to curl up on the couch with my dog. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. Look who's back. Look at that baby. With my boy. With my handsome, handsome boy. Did you have fun playing? You need a bath. My beautiful boy. Look at all the mud on your face. <laughs> oh, I missed you so much. We are home. We're home. Came home to some packages. So I thought I would just like continue this vlog since I feel like I, feel like I hardly vlogged in Atlantic City. You know when you can just like feel how dehydrated you are? I have hardly drank today. I ended up falling asleep on the ride back for like two hours and I really didn't think I would. I mean I didn't sleep great last night. I think I'm more tired from um, all the walking we did in DC. It feels amazing to be home. It always just feels great to come home but um, you know, even though Atlantic City was kind of a bust, we were just laughing about it. <laughs> it's a good story. It's a good laugh. And we had a great time in DC. So let's go ahead and open some packages. First up, Drunk Elephant. I will say I am so thrilled with my skin progress, even through all of the um, heat and sweat. <laughs> uh, my skin did really well throughout. And I'm telling you guys, that Skin Medica trio that I'm doing, it's amazing. I'm so glad. So glad I found something that's working for me. Wild Night Evening Kit. The stars for healthy skin have aligned. This comes with one of their Lala Retro Triple Ceramide Creams, an eye balm, glycolic night serum, and their little cleanser. This is so cute. And it comes in like one of these little bags. This is such like a great gift idea thank you drunk elephant now we've got laura mercier so we have a translucent pure setting spray hydrating setting spray for 16 hours i haven't tried that before a luminous perfecting pressed powder and translucent i feel like that would be really nice for like the no makeup makeup looks i've been doing lately Ooh, high vibe lip color the caviar eye sticks from laura mercier are so good and i feel like a lot of brands are doing those kind of things now caviar eye pencil another caviar eye stick and some more lippies definitely will play with these next time i do my makeup and vlog it thank you laura mercier um elemis Ooh, ooh, guys it's a new it's a new cleansing blom blom <laughs> cleansing balm limited edition pro collagen green fig cleansing balm it's the same award-winning three-in-one texture like because i love the elemis cleansing balm pro collagen green fig it's aromatic hydrating cleansing and nourishing that's exciting a different kind the elemis cleansing balm my favorite cleansing balms elemis um clinique take the day off and the one from versed so thank you elemis i don't know what's in here oh this is from peak i've seen people talk about them this must just be pr immune support and radiant skin elderberry like it's like a hydration kind of i think it's just like a mix a superfood drink mix antioxidants maximize for absorption intelligent vitamin c elderberry superfood complex Fun. Thank you so much. Oh, and there's also, ooh, Sun Goddess Matcha. I feel like a lot of people like their matcha. Definitely will have to try that. All right, these two are my husbands. On Amazon, I ordered a new jewelry cleaner. This one's the Simple Shine 
complete jewelry care kit. It comes with a cleanser, brush, and cloth. I just needed a new jewelry cleanser, so I had ordered it on Amazon. This one had good reviews. We'll see. Okay, this last one here, I was influenced. So I know I'm not the only one who loves Little Miss Emily Kaiser, and she had on this adorable Ralph Lauren like sweater the other day with like this cute little cute little bear on it it was so cute so i looked it up just to see and when i saw it it was on sale and they had it in men's and they had like bigger sizes because i was like i wanted to have that oversized look like hers did you guys this is like a 400 hundred dollar sweater but i got it on sale over labor day weekend for like 150 and i know that's still a lot but like that's a that was a big cut. So let's see. I was trying to decide what size to get for like oversized, but not too oversized. So I got it in the men's 3X. It looks perfect. It's so cute. It's so cute. I'm sorry. It's adorable. Oh my God, it has the buttons. The size looks great. I think this even went up to like a 4 or 5X. 5x they had tall versions too but i don't like things super long i like to do like a little tuck in like some jeans with like uggs oh it'd be so cute for fall so i'll link it maybe it's still on sale but look at this cute little guy with like he's like leaning on his pickup truck emily kaiser she's really just running running the world at this point very good quality though it's a thick mama oh my gosh so i also miss this new drop at miranda fry so excited literally wearing miranda fry right now new the first fall drop of the year these ones will be out when this vlog goes up you already know the drill discount code for miranda fry is fearless 10 percent off and free shipping no this was like one of my favorite drops that i've seen so far and they have some other cute stuff coming out later in the year so stand by i'll tell you guys the names of everything this is called the grace necklace look at how pretty mm. i love that like all these little different size circles so cute so i grabbed this vienna chain in 23 because they had a new charm and i thought the beaded necklace would look so cute so they have like a ton of different necklaces like chains and then different lengths plus size friendly and then they have like different mix and match charms i think this is the lola charm that i'm wearing right now oh this is so cute this is the new charm i'm gonna put on that chain so gorgeous i'll just put a link to like the new arrivals page and you'll see all this there and then i also grabbed one of the gothic letter charms in a for my name oh my gosh and then this ring is so gorgeous look at this ring this is a miranda fry ring i'm wearing right now as well but how cute is this i love that they i think they carry size 12 that is such such a fun ring their jewelry is all amazing quality like it's gold filled so it lasts so much longer um but it doesn't like break the bank like they're high quality pieces without like having to pay hundreds of dollars but it's worth every penny like they're so good and then i'm so excited look at these hoops i'm such a chunky hoop girl these are the camillas look at how cute and literally it's kind of funny so i wear a pair like this all the time from amazon they look very similar to this and they just broke <laughs> i know these are gonna last so much longer my other ones were like tarnishing and then like the metal broke off <laughs> so i'm glad i have like a high quality pair now um so if you want to you know invest in any of these pieces again use my code fearless for the site they have a lot of size inclusive options like the ink that i'm wearing they have just different sizes for everything bracelets um, if you want to like wear them and they're not like super tight different chain lengths so so much so check them out thank you Miranda Fry love you guys so now I gotta clean all this up honestly since I took a nap on the ride home it's 6 40 I think I'm just gonna like unpack now because he wants to do laundry so I'm willing to like unpack and he can do laundry and then we'll call it a call it a vlog a few minutes later no you guys it fits perfectly it's so cute it's the perfect amount of oversized because i was kind of contemplating contempla <laughs> contemplating what size to get but this is perfect with like some cute straight leg jeans and 
my Ugg boots. I forgot to show you guys these. Um, these came in right before we left. The new shade of Ugg for the season. Mustard seed. It just, it's like a light tan. But you know how the other ones have red up here? These are all nooch. And they're so cute. So they've been sold out everywhere. I was able to grab them on Amazon because they only had 11s and 12s left. So I got the 11 and they fit fine. So, so cute. So like, oh, with some jeans, it's a vibe. I'll link these two. We'll see what they have left for sizes because they sold out so quick. It, Ugg knew what they were doing with this color, with this light beige. Gorgeous. We're ready for fall, even though it's 85. <laughs> Next week in the 70s. So we'll just pretend it's fall until then. Hello, you guys. It is the next day. So it's 3 p.m. now. Sorry, the dishwasher is going behind you. But I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I know it's a little early, but I'm feeling a little bit under the weather today. Like I've just been like sneezing and just feeling like really, really exhausted. I don't know if it's because my period's coming or if I caught a little bug while traveling or if I'm honestly probably just a little bit run down. I was just importing this footage and I really hope it doesn't come off like we were, I don't know, come, I don't know, just being snobby about Atlantic City. It just wasn't um, the vibe and I think we were just ready to come home. Either way, it was definitely still a nice, just time away with, um, you know, my husband having time away from work, you know, vlogging is fun for us, but like I wasn't really editing and he wasn't working. It was just like good quality time and that's what it was really all about. Especially during road trips, it's such a great time to just like talk and I don't know, just like vibe out together. So I hope you guys still enjoyed these travel vlogs, whatever they were. It was like, I hardly got any footage in Atlantic City. I hope it came across our way too, cause like it was just such a shit show. <laughs> Like everything we wanted to do, it was just not possible. It was funny, like the first night, our friend had recommended one of the restaurants and they were only open on the weekends. I think after Labor Day, maybe, if you're gonna go, a lot of stuff's only open like on the weekends or at night, but mostly just on the weekends or at least for just half the week and not the nights we were there. So, um, you know, either way, we can now say we've been to Atlantic City, but we did have a lot of people tell us like, girl, don't go there. And I was like, it's fine, but it's a good story. All right, you guys, I think um, I'm gonna end it here, but in our next vlog, I think we might be ready to decorate for fall because we're finally coming out of this crazy heat wave. This heat wave has been cuckoo. I just can't believe our vacation also fell during the heat wave. <laughs> It was like record temperatures, sweat so much. It was honestly like very hard to enjoy in the weather as well, just cause it was so hot, like so hot in DC and Atlantic City. It's really hot at home now as well. Um, I feel like we're all like you, like everyone, I feel like online, just like itching for fall, like itching for it. It's just not here yet. Mother nature says we gotta wait. <laughs> we're, we're all on mother nature's timeline here, but we did just run to Target and buy like house stuff. We need a Drano and laundry detergent and stuff. I did buy, <laughs> did buy, oh, I caught it. Pumpkin spice latte, um, body wash. I did end up buying it. I wanted to wait until it got closer to fall because I saw it a few weeks ago. Oh my God, that actually smells amazing. And I really like the Tree Hut body washes. So pumpkin spice latte body wash. Cause I just ran out of body wash, so grab it before it runs out, but I'm, I don't know. I'm just babbling. I'm sorry. I just, <laughs> this vlog is such a mess, but I hope you guys still enjoyed it and I will see you guys um, in a few days. Bye.